Are you able to hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, tell me. Thank you, Subhash. Where could we get a week six live lectures? I can hear only noise. One second. Type in the message. You are asking for week six, uh, where we were discussing on those practice assignment, is it? Uh, I actually just tell me, um, did, do you remember the uh, very same day whether uh, this one got streamed or not, live streaming? If you remember. I actually don't remember the other day what happened uh, because I uh, do remember that I haven't recorded recently in the G meet. So live streaming, if it is not done, maybe uh, uh, I can share with you only if a PDF is already being shared, right? So if it is not done, maybe I can, I have to again uh, uh, record. I will just check. Do others remember who have attended the session for week six practice? Uh, the the streaming went on well because others were also requesting, right? Someone through a discuss uh, discourse for the week six. Dhruv, I think, correct? Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, sure. So let me just check once again uh, regarding this whether live streaming has taken place and uh, the videos are recorded available in the drive. Okay, so otherwise, uh, maybe with the PDF, uh, I can just again, uh, if you want the explanation or something like that, uh, I can just release the audio. Fine. I will just uh, see to that. Is it okay? Okay, so can you uh, please just put a reminder message in the discourse or uh, tag, tag me also so that, that I receive it in my mail. So uh, in near future, when time permits, I can do it and release it to you. Because already the uh, assignment deadline is over so that I can take some time because I am in right now the work for the further forthcoming weeks. But anyway, uh, when time permits, I can do as soon as possible for you. Okay. So we can just, and we get few more practice questions. Actually, for uh, that thing, uh, I'm just uh, planning to uh, do some uh, tutorial questions. Maybe uh, we may not be able to do it uh, in the live session, but something separately recorded, uh, I mean, with audio and this uh, writings, maybe I can just give it as tutorial questions. Okay. So that I will do and uh, maybe other few books also I can suggest to you. No problem. This uh, books you can go through. Uh, you have uh, this one, Microelectronic Circuits, Edra Smith. And then uh, you have one more, uh, this one. Boyle State, other name. Uh, I exactly don't remember the title. Maybe I can uh, reply to you through the discourse, maybe, if you put a message. Uh, so that is good, uh, referring one or two books. One or another good uh, book, uh, just like this, Sedra Smith is. Sedra Smith, you know the title, Microelectronic Circuits. And the other one is Boyle State and National Ski. 
okay um then you have uh, electronic principles i think um, albert malvino those are all electronic books which are good to refer okay so good that at least in your second term i don't know uh, how many of you did for the first term so referring more than uh, what you have in practice and graded that definitely will uh, make you thorough with the subject that, that's the that one we have requested even before you can uh, put it uh, put through the discourse also share uh, discuss with, among yourself as well as if it is uh, you are not getting an answer you can uh, tag me also i will just respond to you okay so now uh, we can just move on to uh, this one uh, uh, i mean question solving on week 7 so actually we didn't discuss in the last class about this transistor so maybe just i start with the transistor and then we can slowly through the problems we can just discuss the remaining ma'am we followed one... eight in the first term yeah eight and again you have this also i yeah, i do remember even for the last term i had suggested you that uh, fundamentals of electrical technology or electrical circuits or something uh, this one sad q that is also a good book that is on circuits actually the other one i mean for estc mainly excuse me ma'am Ah, Ruth, tell me. Uh, ma'am, when will we get week six graded assignment solutions? Because I was having a lot of doubts in that. Week six graded assignment solution, you will get it tomorrow. Okay. Week five and week six, you will get it tomorrow. so we had done sufficient questions on this diode and i think um, we uh, know to um, i mean determine whether the diode is forward biased or reverse biased now from the two terminal device we are going to the three terminal that is your transistor so transistor you have npm as well as pnp so this is n p n and the other one is ma'am screen not visible ma'am which one screen is not visible screen is not visible okay now yes ma'am no okay fine so this is the symbol for NPN transistor, NPN bipolar junction transistor. We simply refer it to as BJT. This is PNP. So you can see the three terminals. This is the collector terminal. This is base. and this is emitter okay so you will actually provide the input at the base here in the case of npn so you have the current and ib being set up so ib 
आई सी एंड आई ई सो इफ यू आई मीन सी थ्रू दैट नोडल आई मीन के सी एल यू विल हैव दिस एमिटर करंट एस आई ई इक्वल टू आई सी प्लस आई बी कलेक्टर करंट प्लस बेस करंट विल बी दी एमिटर करंट and we had what beta is the current gain of the transistor so that will be current gain means what is the ratio between the output current to the input current so ic by ib so we provide a voltage between the across the base emitter junction vbe so once this vbe on is around 0.7 volt this transistor will be i mean base emitter junction will be forward biased and the transistor will be turning on so uh, when vb is greater than 0.7 volt we say that the transistor is in the forward active region so that transistor current gain by means of current gain we refer it to as the ratio between the currents that is ratio of the output current to the input current so by means of applying a uh, an input voltage across the base emitter junction which is vbe a current ib is set up and we have the other currents ic the collector current and ie so ie will be ic plus ib you can see that ib and ic together flow as ie through the emitter and the ratio uh, of this output current which is ic to the ib will be here uh, beta which is the current gain and you have ic equal to beta from this you will get ic equal to beta ib similarly what is ic in terms of alpha if you had gone to the lectures the other current alpha gain I. alpha is alpha i alpha ie ma'am alpha ie so alpha will uh, beta will be ic by ib similarly alpha will be ic by ie so we have beta is ic by ib and alpha is ic by ie and what is the relation connecting beta and alpha alpha by 1 minus alpha alpha by 1 minus alpha or alpha will be in terms of beta beta by 1 plus beta beta by 1 plus beta so usually this beta current gain uh, of the transistor that will be uh, of the uh, order of hundreds uh, for a good transistor Okay, then the other one is your PNP. So actually, the way uh, students used to remember is P in P. We refer it to PNP. So in the direction is towards inwards. Okay, so this will be the emitter, base, and collector. So this is the other uh, bipolar junction transistor, which is the PNP. Okay, so we will be just mainly discussing with NPN, and then slowly we may look into some PNP questions also, maybe in the next week. Okay, so in order to operate this transistor, we have to do what is called as biasing. So we have basically what we have discussed is here. I am I am I have just considered an NPN transistor. then i have connected at the collector the collector resistor rc and that is being connected to a dc supply vcc and here the base voltage vb and here i have the emitter resistance r e So this is the transistor biasing circuit. So here I've just considered an NPN transistor. To the base of that, I have applied the uh, applied a DC voltage for biasing for making it on. Then I have an emitter resistor here and a collector resistor and this VCC. So actually, you have here. Or I can call it as base
So base emitter junction and collector base junction. That means when you consider in the transistor a junction, it is similar to the two terminal device, just like a diode. So you know that diode, when it is forward bias, it turns on, and when it is reverse bias, it acts as an open circuit. Similarly, you have here two junctions in the three terminal device, this uh, transistor. You have this base emitter junction and the collector base junction. So this forward, in order for the transistor to be in the forward active region, what should be the condition for these two junctions? Ma'am, base emitter junction, uh, forward bias and collector base junction, reverse bias. Yeah, base emitter junction should be such that it is forward biased and collector base junction should be reverse biased so that the transistor, we say that it operates in the forward active region. So again, state it here. This should be forward biased and this should be reverse biased. So we apply a voltage VB here. And when this uh, base emitter junction voltage VBE, we say that VBE on, that means the base emitter voltage for making the transistor on. If it is greater than this 0 0.7 volt, the transistor uh, turns on because the base emitter junction gets forward biased. So that uh, sets up a current IB here. So if this is VB, so this will be the base emitter voltage VBE, which is 0 0.7 volt. So what do you get if you apply KVL in the base emitter loop? You will have VB, then so VB plus uh, sorry VB minus <coughs> VB minus <coughs> sorry VBE minus uh, IERE equal to zero so V VE, the emitter voltage, which is IERE, will be VB minus this VBE on, which is VB minus 0 0.7 volt. That will be the voltage here. VE will be VB minus 0 0.7 volt. Then, <coughs> if we consider the KVL in the collector emitter loop, So here will be the collector emitter junction, VCE, collector emitter voltage. So IC flows like this through RC. So this will be the collector voltage VC. So what do we get? VCC minus ICRC minus VCE equal to 0. So VCE equal to VCC minus ICRC. This VC is this VC minus VE, V is IE, RE. Okay. So now this VB is actually, um, it will be less than VCC. 
correct what will happen if vb is greater than vcc base voltage vb will be anyway less than vcc why it should be tell me maximum value it can take is vcc correct so in the same circuit we need not go for a separate uh, power supply means say for example all these circuits when you set up in lab you will have a power supply you will have to employ a power supply here you will have to employ power, another power supply for your uh, setting up your vcc this this dc voltage vcc etc so actually how will you do it since you have uh, have this uh, you can better make it like this vb a vb value is made out of vcc so we can just make use of a resistor divider uh, out of this vcc to get the value of vb so that we need not get, um, connect the lab and all a separate uh, power supply for this vb instead connecting vcc and by means of voltage divider from that vcc we can set up the value for vb so that is your second uh, way of drawing the circuit that is your voltage divider biasing circuit that means same i have here rc then vcc then re here earlier what we had is this vb so in, in order to set up that vb we are taking voltage divider r1 r2 so here will be our vb so what will be now vb it will be vcc into r2 by r1 plus r2 that is when the base current is very small that means beta is very large so the other the initial circuit that we had seen here is this one here we understand that we have to go for two power supplies one for vcc one for vb so vb the maximum value that it can take is the vcc to ensure that this is in the forward acted region so understanding that we can just uh, extract the value for vb from the vcc itself so that we make use of a, the voltage divided circuit so this is the voltage divider biasing of the vjt vb is vcc into r2 by r1 plus r2 so if you apply thevenin what do you get what do you um, get thevenin voltage and thevenin resistance thevenin resistance is ma'am r1 is parallel to r2 how do you get that r1 parallel r2 because ma'am we have to see uh, from vb from the node vb and the ground uh, and we said the this dc voltage vcc to zero so that will be r1 parallel r2 but ma'am why don't we consider rc in that why don't we consider rc we are applying thevenin towards this side there rc doesn't come into that picture right rc is there in the circuit we are applying thevenin to this side so we said vcc equals zero we get thevenin resistance as r1 parallel r2 what about vth vth will be vcc vcc into ma'am rth may be 
Please explain RTH. You apply thevenin to this side. Okay. So what do we get? This will be grounded because we said this VCC is zero. So you will get it as R1 parallel R2, RTH. And you look from this side. RTH is R1 parallel R2. And what about VTH? VTH will be? Tell me VTH. Ma'am, no, for... Ah, tell me. Ma'am, for uh, KVL at C loop, ma'am, uh, why haven't we taken uh, uh, the drop across RE, ma'am? For KVL? Across uh, C loop. In the above, please scroll up. Ma why I, I haven't taken RE? Yes, ma'am. Why haven't we taken, consider a voltage drop uh, across RE, ma'am? That we have taken a, a only VCC minus RC, RC, ICRC minus VC equal to zero and not taken in any. Yes, uh, yes, drop. You, will have, you will have that IERA also, correct? Here only, correct? VCC minus ICRC minus VCE and minus IERA equal to zero. So if you assume uh, this uh, current gain beta of the transistor to be very large, we can neglect the base current so that this VBE will be almost equal to this uh, VCC into R2 by R1 plus R2. Tell me what is the value for this thevenin voltage? VB. Ah. VCC into. What is the, um, uh, have you gone through the lectures? By this time you should be able to answer, right? And we, we very well know uh, how to apply Thevenin also at this point of time. What is the Thevenin voltage? What is the thevenin voltage? Circuit voltage VCC, ma'am. The voltage is VCC. No. Diagrammatically not understood. Voltage across load resistance. Have you gone through the lectures or not? This is the second session on week seven. It should be VB, ma'am. You find it out. This is not fair that you are not um, thorough with what you have learned from the lectures. This is the second session. At least in the first session means it's okay. You, right now, this you apply this thevenin and just let me know. Ma'am, it should be VB, right? It is the open source voltage between uh, uh, node B and the ground. Sure. 
sure that is what is also mentioned in the lecture So, how do you find out this uh, BTH actually? Uh, uh, Terminal voltage, you open circuit the terminal and then <coughs> you find out the open circuit voltage. So, what will that be? And we are looking between a node B and the ground. Correct. So, between node B and ground, the voltage is VB. The VB. Okay. So, how do we get this RTH? RTH is or what do we do again? Finding out RTH, what is the procedure, Thermion resistance? We look uh, between B, node B and the ground, the resistance mm -hmm. that is connected without any uh, voltage source or any current source. So okay. R1 and R2 are in parallel. Okay, so we uh, short circuit, I mean, make this as zero, VCC as zero. VCC, mm -hmm. we set it as zero. So that will give you uh from from this uh node which is the base r1 is getting connected to ground and again already r2 is uh from b to ground so that will become r1 parallel r2 so rth will be r1 parallel r2 and vth will be vb mm -hmm. So you can draw like this. R1 parallel R2, VB. Okay. So we are, we had already discussed this uh, <coughs> negative clamping and positive clamping. So we can just start with that. I go in reverse uh, the questions. I start with the uh, last question. That means the clamping circuits. So before that, we can just refresh what we have seen the, uh, on this regarding this positive clamping and negative clamping circuit. So positive clamping circuit. What was the circuit? This is which one? This is a positive clamping, ma'am. Series. And the other one we have like this. Diode flipped. So this is your positive clamper. This is your negative clamper. So okay, tell me the operation during the positive half cycle. What happens? Diode is Capacitor will charge during the positive half cycle. The diode is reverse biased. Reverse biased. Okay, and then what happens? We are to recall what we have seen in the last class. B out is zero. Okay, then. Negative cycle diode is forward biased. Okay, so during that time, 
v out is uh, v out follows the sine wave the v in okay so if we represent the input and output wave form so this is zero this is t this is t by 2 Sorry, sorry. This is t by two. This is three t by four. This is t by four. So, what do we have? Positive half cycle, it will be uh, diode will be reverse biased. So V naught will be just the open circuit voltage will be just the V in because the there will not be any closed path for the current to flow through the capacitor. So this V in appears across this diode. So I have represented like this. Output will be during the positive half cycle, same as the input. And what you have here, <coughs> negative half cycle. till this point it will be zero and what happens at this one it will go to at 3t by 4 uh, the input voltage is minus vm so minus vm plus vm actually the output will be vm plus vm sin omega d because during negative half cycle we know that uh, what the capacitor charges so what will be the polarity Across the capacitor and charges, it will be like this plus minus V M, correct? So we get V M plus V M sin. This is V M sin omega t. So V M plus V M sin omega t is what you get here. So at three t by four point, V M V M sin omega t. That is our input will be taking the uh, peak negative value. That is minus V M. So V M plus that minus V M plus V M that becomes zero. So at three t by four. That is zero. Then what happens towards this part? At T here you have um, input as zero plus V M. It will go to V M like this. V M. Then. The, at this point, input is at positive peak plus V M. So V M plus V M, it will go to two V M at this point, and you will get a waveform like this. This is two V M. This is V M. Okay, so you can in effect see that the input wave it is shifted towards upwards. Okay, so you get what will be the average value? Average value will be plus V M, correct? Average value of the output will be plus V M. Then again, what happens in the case of negative clamper? Negative clamper again till t by four. What happens? Diode will be followed by this, ma'am. Mm. So it will be zero. I mark it here till t by four. Then what happens at t by two? At t by two, the input is. Uh, so, will be zero. Zero. so minus Vm, minus Vm, uh, plus Vm sin omega t. So that will be minus Vm. Okay. Then uh, we have at this 
three t by four. That is this point. Three t by four. We have minus v m for the input. So three t by four minus v m is the input. So v m sine omega t is minus v m at three t by four minus v m. So minus v m minus v m that becomes minus two v m. So this is minus v m. This is minus two v m corresponding to three t by four. Then at t, at t again, you know that the input is zero, so zero minus v m, it goes to minus v m, corresponding to t. Then you have phi t by four. That is this point. It is input is plus v m, and that minus v m will be zero, so output will be at zero, and this will go on. So this will be, in effect, the input sine wave shifted towards negative direction. This has an average value minus v m. So this is the one we have seen in the last class. So with this, the question now given in the practice assignment is with the bias voltage of three volts, positive three or minus three. That again, the variations between the positive clamper and negative clamper. If this uh, fundamental operation is clear. Then that will take only limited time to understand. So we can go to the and that circuit given in the assignment. Let me take that. So this is given to be twenty volt peak to peak sine wave. So first of all, is it a positive clamper or a negative clamper? So ma'am, negative clamper, ma'am, or positive clamper? This is a positive clamper circuit, and you have a bias voltage. So positive clamper. With bias. I need to question now. Ma'am, diode will be downside is there, ma'am. Diode? Uh, diode, diode in the question is reverse, ma'am. I think. First question is reversed. Let me see. I think the first question is like this only. Just check it out. So bias voltage of minus three volts. Okay. So we had seen in this case. This is a simple without the bias voltage. So what did we get actually? This is what did we get at the output? Was V M 
plus Vm sin omega t. Correct? Here, minus Vm plus Vm sin omega t. Am I right? Okay, so now tell me what happens here. We know during it, it will be during the negative wave, it will be positive uh, forward bias. Okay, so V naught will be minus three. So during the negative half cycle, the capacitor charges, correct? Yes. The capacitor charges through this uh, DC source and the this one. So uh, it will be <coughs> charging up to Vm minus 3. So it will be actually the output will be Vm minus 3 plus Vm sin omega t. And in the question, it is said that some forward voltage drop is given. How much? 0 0.6. It's actually not given, ma'am. Uh, the diode number is given. And here it is given right for the circuit shown. If input is a symmetrical sine wave of peak value 10 volt, the diode has a forward voltage drop of 0 0.6. Ma'am, this is practice assignment question 29. Yes. You uh, you are uh, even the input sine wave is being shown. Am I right? Yes. Peak to peak value. And it is uh, said that the input is a symmetrical sine wave of peak value 10 volt and the diode has a forward voltage of forward voltage drop of 0 0.6 volts. Ma'am, uh, could you share your screen, ma'am, where it is? Uh, because in my assignment, it is not shown. For what about others? It's 29, ma'am. Ah, is it not mentioned actually? Yes, ma'am, it's given. Uh, its input is symmetrical sine wave of peak value 10 volt. The output waveform would be. It's That's not mentioned question. like this forward voltage drop. Uh, forward voltage drop, it is not given anything, ma'am. Let me check how it. We don't know why it got missed out. Even I have a verified it and no. Sure, it's not there. Anyway, by looking into the waveform, you will be able to make it. But other than that, explicitly, I had mentioned it in the question statement. Why it's missing, I don't know. Let me just check. And otherwise, I will update the statement. No problem. So, uh, consider the forward voltage drop of 0 0.6 volts. So, let us see now the options. Output waveform. So simply without this minus 3 and uh, a forward voltage, ideal diode with a forward voltage drop of 0 volts means it would have been like this, what we have just discussed above. Correct? It would be like this, clamping positively, clamping to the positive side. Now, it has got a drop of, uh, forward voltage drop of 0 0.6. That means it would come to... Here with the for just with the I mean let me just show it to you through waveform. This will be zero point six. So earlier it was just simply fully. Shifting 
upwards this is with ideal diode with zero forward voltage drop then this is with a for with a forward voltage drop of zero point six volt and zero bias voltage here also and zero bias voltage now with the given this bias voltage of minus three that would be now What will be this value? This will be sixteen point four. This will be six point four, and this will be what minus three point six. This is minus point six here. So totally, you can see it is uh, twenty volt peak to peak. Okay. So ideally, what we have discussed for the positive clamper is like this. So this will be zero, and this will be two vm. So we get a positive uh, average value of vm for this. So this is with no bias voltage, and also with the ideal diode case. Now, with the diode of forward voltage drop zero point six. You will get it like this, minus zero point six, like this. And now with this bias voltage uh, being applied, also the waveform becomes that minus three also comes into effect. So minus three to this minus point six, so minus three point six. So this will be uh, what six point four, and this peak will be sixteen point four. So totally this is twenty volt peak to peak. So this will be the waveform for the given circuit. So here again, we can just understand that without this bias voltage and with the ideal diode case, the waveform will be like this. It will be clamping towards the negative side. So just like showing the three cases for your understanding here. So this will be first of all a negative clamper. This is with ideal diode of zero forward voltage drop and no bias. Then, if you had a
and finally for the given condition with the bias voltage of plus 3 volt this will be So this will be plus 3.6, this is minus 6.4 and this is minus 16.4. So actually the first one was, it is a positive clamper clamping <coughs> negatively at uh, clamper clamping negatively at plus 3 volt, right? Sorry, the first one, this one, the clamper clamping positively at minus 3 volt, the bias is minus minus 3. So positive clamper clamping at minus 3 volt. This is negative clamper clamping at plus 3 volts. So uh, ideally it should be completely towards the negative side. If it had a forward voltage, diode has a forward voltage drop of 0 0.6 or 0 0.7, that will be, instead of touching the 0, it will be at that forward voltage drop. Now with a bias voltage also, this plus 3 being applied, it would shift upwards to 3.6. Ah, tell me. Hello. Hello. Ah. Uh, I had a question uh, for previous week. Uh, could we able to able to, you able to clarify that question? Which one week six? Uh, yeah. So one question from the week fifth. Okay. What is it? Uh, just a minute. I'll open the. Uh, I'll read out the question. Yeah. Ah, okay. The question number uh, from the graded assignment five. Now, what is the question number? Uh, question number is eight. Eight. Ah, oh, okay. So in this, uh, uh, see, I was able to calculate with some some different approach. Okay. Okay, but when I was I'm applying uh, Thevenin uh, theorem. Okay. Yeah, so I have to remove uh, the register and then consider the uh, voltage output. But the current in oh, the one of the, the branch. Resistor. Hello? Why do you want to remove the resistor while applying thevenin? I mean, just what I've uh, been taught now that uh, whatever load is there across that, if you want to take the thevenin voltage, you should remove uh, that voltage okay. element. Uh, okay, you're talking yeah, so about the, the load resistor. Uh. Yeah, so load resistor, the moment I remove, there is a dependent uh, voltage source which is depending on the current fol following through that register. Correct. Uh, correct. Initially, it is yeah. given that the uh, initial energy stored or something is zero. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So, so that that I X is zero. So that is what, what you are talking the... about. So that current value I X is zero, and hmm. this uh, value of this voltage source two I X becomes zero. Okay. So voltage, so voltage source becoming zero. It is the case of a short circuit, but you people have considered it to be open. Okay. So, see, in that case, if I take uh, Laplace, uh, uh, I mean Laplace uh, actually, uh, actually, derivation. Actually, hmm. uh, that, uh, for that only, uh, even through the discourse, when some of you uh, were, um, I think you only posted. I don't know. You or some other. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. So, so for that only, even uh, while updating one question, I had uh, given you the hint also. It, it is a voltage source, so that when I x is becoming zero and this two I x becomes zero, if it was an open circuit, I mean current source, it becomes an open circuit. Here, it is a uh, even though it is depending on a current value I x, it is a volt dependent voltage source. So, yeah. in that place, it is a short circuit, and then you. Proceed with the remaining. You will get the answer mentioned. What is there? No, no. See, uh, same process I applied. When I take a short circuit across a dependent voltage, the output not voltage. Short, not short, no, 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 not short circuit across a dependent source. In place of the dependent source, it becomes a short circuit. Yeah, in place only. I'm saying in the place of the dependent source, I am sorting to the uh, uh, on top side. That is okay. 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 Yeah, so now it it will become a just a current IS is going through the five ohm register. Okay. So in that case, the voltage will be what? The voltage will, will be just if you divide the IS by the register, correct? Correct. Sorry, if, if you multiply the IS by the register, that is a voltage drop, correct? Correct. Yeah, so in that case, UT uh, the uh, current is ten UT. So the Laplace form, if you see, it is a ten by S, correct? And the uh, uh, register is five, so five is by uh, five uh, fifty by yes, fifty by yes will be the voltage, but that is not the answer, correct? Let me just check it out. Yeah, can you please open that? It's created a lot of confusion to us. Or else, um, um, can you just uh, see it tomorrow? Because I told you, you will be getting the graded uh, solution tomorrow. After that, can we just discuss so that we need not uh, disturb here for week seven? No problem. And uh, another uh, question in the week six, I wanted to have some clarification. Just read out that one else. Well, let me know the number for that also. This is question eight of week five. Yeah, Rather the first question, I, I'm saying the first question uh, in the week six. Okay. So here, uh, if you see the cases, if I, I if I use the superposition theorem, okay. uh, the V zero one and V zero by two, it it was coming around four by three. Mm. But the scene, the answer was not given four by three. It was given only two by three. So I approximately given answer is two point three. But happened <laughs> to be that the answer yeah, is both, three by two. Request you to for both the cases, just look into the solutions once they are released tomorrow. Even then, if it is not clarified or you need to point out something, you just put it in the discourse. I will just respond to that. Okay. And the <coughs> second question, uh, which we are talking now, the clipper circuit. Hello. Uh, second question on clipper circuit. Yeah. Yeah. So here, see, the 8 volt is the upper side voltage and 4 volt is given. Mm. So as per that, uh, the circuit should transmit the part of sine wave which lies between minus 4 volt to 8 volt. I mean, because minus four volt is in the reverse polarity with the one of the diode, and eight volt is in the parallel polarity with another <coughs> diode, and both are in parallel. I will just check. I will just check. Anyway, the scores are not signed off. I will just check. If there yeah. is something to rectify, I will do it, or else you just see to the solution. Okay. Okay, no problem. So, question five of grade. Uh, I'm sorry, question eight of week five, and question one yeah. and two of uh, week six. Yeah, one and two. Yeah. Week six, one and two. Can you have a look again? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. So, next question was So if the two cases are so clear, the previous two questions, directly tell me what will be the waveform, where should I, first of all, it is the negative clamper. So you will have the waveform towards the negative side. Then it is 
clamping negatively at minus 3 volt. Tell me the output waveform, the markings. Ma'am, 2.4 plus 2.4. Here, here, minus 2.4. It is negative clamper. Yeah, sorry, minus 2.4. Minus 2.4. Minus 22.4. Yeah. So this will be minus 12.4 and minus 22.4. And finally, So this will be positive clamper clamping at plus 3 volt. So that will be plus 2.4 plus 12.4. Clear? Ma'am, after this, can we do the question number two of practice assignment? Yeah, we will go in order. I'm going, just coming in the reverse order. Okay. to be transistor so
so i'm just uh, doing it in the way like we had just in the last class we had seen the clamper circuit so i had just covered the clamping circuits in practice now regarding the biasing so we do on transistors and then we can come to center and maybe towards the end we can go with the this uh, voltage doubler and all okay so beta is 100 VBE equal to zero point seven volts. VBE, sorry, VB is five point seven volts. RC equal to two kilo ohm. RE equal to five kilo ohm. DCC, ten volts. So you are asked to calculate emitter voltage V, emitter current, collector current, collector voltage, collector to emitter voltage, and then. Uh, to check whether it is in the forward active region or not. Okay, so applying KVL in the base emitter loop. So VB on is given to be zero point seven volts. VB is five point seven. So five point seven minus zero point seven minus VE equal to zero. So VE will be five volts. So with that. Emitter current I E will be V E divided by R E, so that will be how much is R E? Five K. So that will be five volt by five kilo ohm, one milliampere. IC equal to alpha IE, so IC equal to beta by one plus beta into IE, so that will be hundred by one not one into one milliampere. This approximately one. Then. Collector voltage VC will be VCC minus ICRC, so that will be ten minus one milliampere into how much is RC? Two. Two kilo.
maybe you can take it exactly also this is you will get uh, how much some 0 0.98 or 99 you will get it correct Is 0 0.99 into RC is how much? 2K. So almost 8 volts we will get. Then BC E will be BC minus VE. So that will be 8 minus 5. 3 volts. So check whether base emitter junction is forward biased and collector base junction is reverse biased. So you are getting a positive value for VCE. So base emitter junction is forward biased. You can see with the given uh, calculated values also. And character base junction is reverse biased. What was VB? VB is 5.7. VE. VE is 5 volts. So VB base emitter junction you can see that VB is 5.7 and VE is 5 volts. So VB greater than VE. So base emitter junction is forward biased. Connector base junction is what VC was how much? 8. 8 volts. So VC is 8 volts. VB is 5.7. So that is reverse bias. So it is in forward active region. With same beta means beta is 100, VBE is 0 0.7 volts, VCE is 3 volts, but VB equal to 1 volt. RC is Ma'am, your screen is freezed. Screen is not visible. Ma'am, it's visible now. Um, what happened then? What do you want me to do? Ma'am, it had freezed. Ma'am, screen had freezed. Screen had freezed. OK, OK. Right now, ma'am, it's fine. Fine, okay.
so here again the emitter voltage will be vp minus vb so that will be 1 minus 0 0.7 0 0.3 volts ie will be ve divided by 300 so 0 0.3 by 300 so 1 milliampere IC will be beta by 1 plus beta IE. So that will be 0 0.99 milliampere. BC will be BCC minus ICRC. So that will be 12 I think so 12 minus C into RC is 2K. Ten volts. BC will be BC minus VE. So that will be ten minus zero point three nine point seven volt which is positive then again checking for the conditions transistor will be in forward active region So here it is said beta is very large that is infinity VBE equal to 0 0.7 volts R1 is 9 kilo ohm R2 is 3 RC is 8.3 
Re is 2 kilo. BCC is 12 volts. You need to find out. So, Base voltage, emitter current, collector current, collector voltage, emitter voltage, and emitter to collector voltage. R1, R1 6 kilo ohm, ma'am. I think I had uh, taken the second, the next question. So let me do that first. I also just now noticed. Anyway, no problem. We can do this first and the other one. Okay, no problem. You have one more on this voltage divider, right? I have taken that one. Yes. Unknowingly. So not a problem. We can just do this first. So 9K, uh, 3K, RC is 8.3, then RE is 2K, VCC is 12 volts. Beta is very large, infinity, it is given. So, beta is infinity, so we can, means base current is very small. Can be detected. Okay, so VB will be VCC into R2 by R1 plus R2. So that will be 12 into uh, 3 kilo ohm by 9 plus 3. Three volts. V E equal to V B plus V B. Now it should be minus. Yes. Actually, I had to make it P and P, but the question is of the same type. Okay, no problem. Hmm. B E B B E will be so we have B B E S. VB minus VE. So VE will be VBE minus VB. VB minus VBE. VB minus VBE. Ah. So what will that be? 3 minus 0 0.7 I will be B by R E.
no problem actually i had uh, intended for the second type as for p and p okay then you find out vce what about this uh, transistor whether it is in forward active region Transistor is it in forward active region? How much is VC, ma'am? VC we have to calculate, right? Yeah. So VC, uh, VC will be VCC minus ICRC. VC will be VCC minus ICRC. And with that, you can calculate VCE. Yeah. I see. I C will be alpha I. I. Yeah, you have uh, I E. So I C uh, I E is I C plus I B. So since beta is very large, you can uh, neglect I B. So I E and I C you can take it to be the same. You have yeah. I E. So I C will be. You can take it as I E. Neglecting beta since beta is very large. So VC is going to be VCC minus one point one five into RC. Mm. Can you, ma'am, please scroll up, ma'am, for the values? Sure. Can you scroll up for the values to calculate VC? No, scroll, can you scroll up further, ma'am? Up. No, I just want to look at the values for ICRC to calculate it. So it will be negative. Uh, VCC will be 2.455, ma'am. Ah. In volts, ma'am, but the uh, answer is should be in millivolt. Why? I think um, for this, the answer given is wrong, correct? I mean, in the key. Am I right? What we are right now getting and the answers given are, is it right? The key given? Yeah, I think so. Because like, as I told you, I actually, uh, for the second question I had uh, mentioned, with different, I mean, changing the resistor values and all, I had actually intended for a PNP transistor, but the circuit is just given the same. Some mistake happened here. 
so i here calculated it for npn itself the circuit being the npn but the answer key is with regard to the pnp given i think correct is the i think uh, there is mismatch for the answer key given and right now what we are getting am i right so i will just note down these things and i will just update so that uh, while you refer it again for the practice or graded i will make sure that there are no errors Okay, for example, emitter voltage. What we got here? Two point three. So there it is, three point seven being given because mm -hmm. of that PNP. Do you understand? Yeah. So that is okay. I will update that so that we can refer back later. So now. The other one, one more on this one. Ma'am, can we do the question two for Zener, ma'am? Yeah, bhaiya. Two questions. I am just uh, planning to make you uh, listen, and maybe to, uh, tomorrow when I release this PDF, you can because there you have something to think. I think one on Zener and the other one was on this uh, voltage multiplier or something. I will just. Uh, I mean, pinpoint the question number. Let us first finish this. So, beta is infinity. Vb is zero point seven. R one is six. R two is three. R is two point three. VCC is nine volts. What about our C? RC is one kilo. So here also, data being large, you can neglect. The base current it will be very small value, so I C will be almost equal to I E. So V B will be nine volt into three k divided by six k plus three k. So that will be three volts. E will be V B minus V B E, so that will be three minus zero point seven, two point three volts.
Asked to calculate the output voltage, we know. Ma'am, we can assume that the diode is open circuited. Okay, we then. Ah. Then we can calculate V naught. V naught will be correct. Two hundred by two hundred five volts. Five volts. So we conclude that diode is reverse biased. Diode is not uh, the zener diode is not in the uh, is not operating in the breakdown region. Ah, zener is not in the breakdown region. So what? Uh, how will it act like? Like a um, reverse bias. Yeah, yeah. In the uh, I mean, zener diode when it is forward bias, it will act like a ordinary diode. A mm -hmm. reverse bias uh, until um, it is breakdown. not. Ah, uh, uh, it is not in the breakdown region. It will act as a again an ordinary diode, so it acts as an open circuit. So what will be V naught? Five volt. Yeah, correct. Ma'am, please one second explain, ma'am. Yeah. So first, we need to check here. Senior is in the. Reverse breakdown. Only when it is in the reverse biased condition and also in the breakdown region, it can be utilized as a voltage regulator. Correct. So we need to check whether it is in the reverse breakdown region. For that.
I have open circuited the scener and now I am calculating the voltage across it. That will be simply the voltage across this 100 kilo ohm. So it is simply the voltage divider. So V0 will be 10 into, sorry, 10 into. So potential across scener should be actually greater than the breakdown voltage of the scener. So breakdown voltage is 8 volt, but It is only 5 volt lesser than 8. Hence, scener has not entered the breakdown region. Okay, so always do remember that scener when in the reverse bias condition and in the breakdown region only it can be utilized as a voltage regulator. So you need to check for that whether it is in the reverse breakdown region. For that the potential across the scener should be greater than its breakdown voltage. So we are now for that checking we are first uh, removed uh, the scener that is we have open circuited it and we are trying to calculate the potential across it. So that is in effect the potential across this 100 kilo ohm. So 10 volt, 100 and 100 kilo ohm. So you will get it as by voltage division, we get it as 5 volts. So that is lesser than the breakdown voltage because breakdown voltage is mentioned to be 8 volt. So that we conclude that senior, even though it is reverse biased, it has not entered the breakdown region and hence it will act as an ordinary diode in the reverse bias condition. That means the current will be negligible. It acts more or less an open circuit. So V0 will be simply 5 volts. Ma'am, last sentence, please, one second, ma'am. Uh, what happens if not in the breakdown region? So then senior is, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, potential across it should be greater than the its uh, breakdown voltage. So we have calculated that to be 5 volt, which is lesser than the 8 volt. So even though it is in uh, reverse bias condition, it is not in the breakdown region. So it just as a um, um, diode in the reverse bias condition, only in the breakdown region acts as a voltage reg uh, regulator. Senior reverse bias, but not in the breakdown region. It acts just like an ordinary diode in the reverse bias condition. Ordinary diode in the reverse bias condition, you know it acts as an open circuit. Correct? It acts as an open switch. So it will be that just uh, open circuit voltage which we have calculated which is 5 volts so that is the voltage being asked v naught so v naught will be 5 volts
So for the given voltage regulator circuit, if V1 to V2 is the range of the input voltage for which a constant output voltage of approximately 50 volt. Can be maintained. The value of V1 and V2 are so the range of input voltage for which the output voltage is approximately 50 volt. That means regulated at 50 volt. That range of input voltage you need to calculate. One second. Here I coming and we have here I is set. Tell me how to solve this simple voltage regulator circuit. Ma'am, the minimum is going to be when the V out across the load is is just on the uh, is just about to break down. Once again, once again. So when the load the V uh, the voltage across the load is okay. equal to V Z. Ah. That time, the V input is going to be the minimum. Mm. So basically, the diode, the Zener diode, is uh, operating in reverse bias, but it has not reached breakdown, so it is still a open circuit. Okay. So that time we'll have the V input as the minimum. Okay. Then. So V input is going to be so we have got I L. Uh, so RL ma'am was not given in this as hundred ohms, hundred ohms. So this this information was missing. Which one is missing? The RL uh, is given, right? Uh, no, in the uh, practice assignment, it's not uh, given. Do you mean to say in the portal uh, RL value is not mentioned? That's correct, ma'am. Okay. Yes, I'm not given. Fine. So 100 kilo ohm, you can take so, a note of it. So, yeah, so anyhow, if if even if RL is 100, okay. so VI is going to be so I IL is constant at 25 milli ohm, right? Yes. So it's going to be 25 into 3750 plus 100. Yes. Yeah, but I think the answer is not matching. Uh, it, it the V minimum is mentioned as 150, so it will not be 150. Uh, this is question number two, right? Yeah. The portal. This is uh, one second. So earlier in that one of the voltage divided by in circuit in the transistor, I told you the answer key need to be updated. Then this question two and what else where one data was not given on oh, that one clamping circuit uh, forward voltage of 0 0.6. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. I will just note them. So, ma'am, even with 100 ohms, the answer I don't think uh, it's uh, it will be 150. So, the answer also needs to be uh, re looked at. Let me just check what but I have it only in the copy of mine, but not I have to check with what is being on the portal. It's, it's mentioned uh, 150 and 310. Minimum is 150 and maximum is 310. But it seems to be option C. Am I right? No, not even option C. See, uh, see, three point seven five plus point one into twenty five. It's not going to be a round number. So let's just do that. So here I. IL will be remain same, na, ma'am. Although uh, input voltage varying, na, ma'am. I will remain constant, na. IL remain. 
Um, we need to calculate the, uh, I mean, this minimum and maximum value of phi z. So, if we consider, if we are considering the uh, the Zener diode as open circuit uh -huh. and I L as constant, then V minimum V V I is coming as hundred eighteen point seven five. So that is one thing for the V minimum, which where the answer is not matching, and for the V max, then we will assume that the diode is uh, operating in breakdown. Mm -hmm. And at that time, to calculate I, the uh, current I through the three seven five zero ohm resistor, we need the I I Z max because I is equal to I L plus I Z, mm -hmm. and I Z I Z is also not given. Okay, this question I will just check and let you know. Yeah, you are right. It, uh, given an option 150 volt, 310 volt. Yes. Okay, no problem. I will just let you know, update with you. And we have two more questions, right? Ma'am, just one thing. Similarly, there is a graded question also. Uh. And in that graded question also, I think uh, the question may not be correct. Where you the are maximum... telling the question on Zener? Yeah, on, on Zener, which is okay. question number two in graded also. Okay. So there also the maximum current mm. uh, of the Zener and maximum uh, power Mm. allowed for the zener is given so both of them will lead to the iz max mm. and we won't get the iz iz min to calculate the minimum voltage you are telling about question 2 on graded right yes so okay, i think just... it should be minimum knee current of 5 milliampere okay okay i will just check okay okay ma'am i will just check uh, uh, day after tomorrow is the deadline correct yes ma'am yeah yeah i will let you know so practice uh, two more questions. Just uh, uh, think and do it on yourself. That is uh, one on this one. Maybe uh, when I give you the solution, you can just check it out. One is on this one. Uh, you mean that uh, VD3, correct? That question on diodes and other two senior diodes. These two only I wanted to, I wanted you to think and do it and then we discuss. So this question and question two on graded and then again the questions already pointed out week five he pointed out question eight and ma'am week five question, question nine, nine also ma'am question nine also there is a doubt in week five here in practice no no ma'am question uh, week five huh. question nine graded eight and nine that is uh the same compre correct yes yes same comprehension okay one second one second, I will just move down this. So week five, question eight and nine. Week six, you told question one and two. Now here in the week seven practice, voltage divider, one of the questions answer key. Then senior second question. And one uh, clamping that I need to uh, update the question. Clamping, uh, what forward voltage of 0.6 volts. Right. And yeah, so these corrections, any corrections, even in the practice, we can make it so that once again, when you revise for your NSM and all, uh, it will be right in the quarter that I will make sure. Okay. Ma'am, one, one another was the week seven graded question two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. So week seven graded question two, I should immediately tell you because before the deadline. Rest is the one we have already completed that I will do it. Uh, okay, so maybe sure. in practice, uh, I may not be putting um, explicitly the announcement. We again, when you go back, that will be all right. Maybe for graded and all, I will let you know. All right, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you. See you on next session, ma'am. Yeah, tell me. Ma'am, uh, regarding this type of questions, uh, transistor uh, clipper camper, ma'am. Uh, huh. Which book will be suitable, ma'am? Hayat or 
we, I had training. already mentioned uh, answer to his na he already asked i suggested you micro electronic circuit sedra smith uh, then in addition to that this uh, boil state as the other name i don't exactly remember the title actually sd ko na sd ko is given actually which one fundamentals of electronic circuit fundamentals of electronic circuits uh, sad q is for the circuit based problems maybe for terminal and not and your week 2 or week 3 that you can refer to even for the estc portions last time that has got sufficient number of problems that means for this time you have it for uh, you can make use of it for this uh, this one i mean terminal not and all maybe phasers also you can ma make use of this fundamentals of electric circuit sad q then uh, um, for the this thing electronic devices you have this micro electronic circuit sedra smith and uh, you have one another um, i don't uh, remember the title the other name is boil state okay and you also have uh, other books like uh, the other name i have already put in the chat box albert malvino that is electronic principles i think the title all those you can go through thank you okay so always uh, um, do sufficient uh, extra this uh, reference also that will help you out we can also try to i will also just try to give you more tutorials maybe audios as released in apart from this live session okay we, maybe we can plan something like uh, three uh, tutorials that is the 12 weeks covered uh, divided into three something like that i am planning for so before your quiz maybe i can do that for your uh, quiz portions one is passed for uh, the quiz one portions and the rest we can do it for tutorial three something like that we can plan for okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am mm, okay thank you